everybody what is up everybody it is your boy fry thank you once again for tuning in so tonight we got a nice special going uh late night session you know just editing finishing up some cool stuff and uh pretty much i wanted to show you how i clean up a session because if you know fl studio and you know recording in fl studio uh it is an absolute mess all right and if you do not keep your tracks in order you know keep things tidy uh you know things just i mean look at this man like i don't know any other door that just creates automatic names it's, it's a mess all right so you're gonna pretty much watch me clean up my uh session and maybe i'll add some dialogue here and there but stay tuned man because this is major keys right here you know uh I haven't really seen people talk about cleaning up sessions. Uh, you usually, you know, YouTubers, FL Studio, vocal preset guys, you know, you usually just see a finished product. So, you know, chill out, chop it up with me and uh, let's get some work done, all right? So first things first, man, when I record my tracks, I know exactly, I always, you know, start off with my beat on top, you know, so that way I never put vocals on top here, uh, you know, just so I can, I can kind of keep a general overview of what's going on, you know, and, and I can kind of tell that I've got a chorus going on here, I've got a bridge section right there, I've got the verse right there, and then I've got the chorus again, which is a duplicate, right? So, you know, at least I can kind of see what's going on. You know, I've generalized, I've, I've categorized my automation clips as well. We'll name those. Uh, we've got the sample thing right here, this H3000 sample going on. We'll rename everything and we'll make it look cool. So with that being said, let's do it. So the first thing, man, is I'm just gonna clean up from left to right, all right, because that makes sense to me. So I always start at the bottom here, I've got this kind of intro going in. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a little secret track that I'll be doing a vocal effect on soon. Comment below if I should drop it, uh, if I should drop the full track, but I'll just play a sneak peek, you know, I don't want to destroy this week's video, so. All right, that's it, that's it. All right, so let's get into it, man. Um, I'll be playing bits and pieces here and there, but the first thing I have right here is obviously the intro piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna name these. Uh, so we'll call this intro. So what I like to do is I like to right click and then just press the R button, all right? And then boom, I can just go intro and anywhere where they are clips called intro, you could also just copy paste, you know? Uh, so wherever, you know, things aren't going well, you can just intro, intro, intro. I'm sure that also says intro, cool. All right, and we can do that. So what I like to do is just right click and press A, that's auto name, and you can see right there, now I've got an intro track. I would give that a icon as well, why not? I will just do that. Now oh, that's the intro right there. Cool. So what I also wanna do is I just wanna get rid of some of these random mic input channels. Um, you know, so, I don't know, airport, those are just the effects that I printed. Um, not really important, but we'll just leave those there as effects. Auto name them, just keep them kind of there. Um, so next thing I'll do is we'll go to our, I'll just press the U button as well, right click U, right click U, right click U, so that the intro is kind of right there. And now we'll start doing our uh, verse and that kind of thing. Actually, yeah, we might as well do that. So I know over here my, my main vocals, you know, because I'm just good with the FL, I understand. I've cleaned up my vocals while recording, so you know, that's done. I woke up and went on a mission. So that's the main vocal right there. So I'm gonna again right click, right, um, and then press R. I'm gonna type main vocal. And what I can do is I can universally you can press Control A, which is select all, and then Control C, which is copy. All right, get with the program. All right, then I'm just gonna start going through all of these main vocals right here. You know, and uh, ooh. All right, and I'm just gonna start naming everything, everything, everything you know, so that I can get it all cleaned up. So visually I can see. So one day when I get back to the session, I know exactly what's going on. See, this is the problem with FL is that, you know, it's auto naming tracks. It's it's just not doing us justice, all right? Um, in my opinion, uh, I know the new FL does kind of fix it, but you know, we're not on that. This is a very stable version 12 or 20.0.3, I think. Um, but nonetheless, man. So what I could do now is I could go and skim for all of these main vocal tracks that I had. Uh, we might as well go and name the verses as well. I know those all on top are main vocals. I'm not gonna call them verses. I'm just gonna call them all main vocals. So I know all the main vocals have the same color because you'll see me color stuff now now. So we're going and naming, naming. I hope I have enough camera because uh, this is a, a DSLR. I hope this we can do this in half an hour because otherwise the camera will cut off. Actually it won't. I think it'll just create another clip. Um, there we made a little mistake. Control Z to undo. 
So this is how I work, you know, uh, guys and girls. If you want to be engineers, you need to be able to like properly work fast and talk at the same time. Because in a real life environment, there are going to be people all around you, um, you know, asking you about this and that and the third. And you're going to want to be able to answer them as well as work. So I don't know what track, I don't know what this is. So let me just solo right here. Don't waste my time no more. I don't want to play games because I know it's not the same. All right. So those are all main vocals. This on bridge section. We'll just call those main vocal, main vocal main vocal main vocal perfect so those are all the main vocals in the song as you can see because we had a duplicate of the chorus everything is main vocal so now what i can do is i can either mess around over here i quite like this new panel from fl so i'm gonna go and select one right and then i'm gonna hold in the control key and i'm just gonna start clicking on all of the tracks that are named main vocal all right and then we'll give them all a color the same color so let's just go and find all the main vocals there 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 there, there. Um, there is a faster way to do this, but um, this is just the easiest. Now we're going to go to change color, all right? And then I'm just going to give everything the same color. Let's give it a nice uh, green. So we'll go and select the same color twice. Press the inner key. Boom. And now we've got all of our main vocals with the same color. All right. So now we can go ahead and do our doubles. Okay. Um, so double. Because I know, I just know that, you know, these are the doubles okay oh yeah and also what we can do now is we can right click press a and then boom we've got our main vocals right we can give those a color i mean an icon and that's looking pretty swag so now we can go out to our doubles right double right click double right click double and then there you go we got our doubles down um and then we can go and find our doubles over here now this is where things get a, a bit complicated that's also a main vocal let's see we missed that out but it doesn't really matter. Um, we can just do that. There you go. Um, you see, these I know are left and right BGs. These have to be doubles, I'm sure. So I know I'm guessing, but I've just I've done so many sessions in FL that uh, I just know <laughs> that these are all doubles, you know. But we will confirm if they're doubles or not. So I still think I'll buy you. That's a double right there. Okay. I still think about you. I'll do what I gotta do. Ooh, fire. Alright, double. 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 And as you can see, man, if you were doing this while recording, I genuinely don't do this while recording because of just, you know, it's so boring to do. Um, but it is important to learn how to do it. So BG left. I always keep my BG lefts on top and then the ones on the right at the bottom. So I know that they BG oh um BGL, let's just do that. Not double BG. I was BG left my bad. I always keep my stuff in pairs so I know exactly, you know, what's going on. So there's our BG right. So we'll just do this. And I should have done all the BGs. Um, because I know there are some on the hook as well. But you know, there you go. So it's looking way better right now, man. Um, I'm just gonna drop those into the we'll sort out the effects soon as well. I like to keep all my effects in one or two tracks. Um you know just because check top right corner just on how uh you know what shortcuts i'm using we'll just drop those there for now just want to clean everything up uh so yeah now we can go for bgs again and these are definitely bgs so we're gonna go just do our thing right there and hopefully we recorded nope we did not record those all in one take so we have to edit all these little takes right there there we go cool i'm just gonna copy there again right you see man now we're working fast because now we kind of got a foundation going all right so now it is time to uh color track so i'm just gonna do all of them with the same color uh, it doesn't really matter to me if they both have a different color um so there we go bg 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 and that should be everything right click again change color um we'll give these like a blue doesn't matter whatever um and there you go so we've missed out some stuff but that doesn't matter it looks pretty cool pretty sure that is a double and i did not name that um we forgot to color code the doubles as well so let's go to the top and do some more boring stuff double 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 um so yeah man playing video games definitely does help with this um eventually man you're gonna have to ditch video games for fl if you are wanting to make a career out of this you know i remember selling my um that's a horrible color i'm not gonna choose that i remember selling my xbox 360 for behringer ms40 speakers it's a good deal um 
And then I didn't look back, man. I just worked on FL every single day since then. This is annoying me, so I'm just gonna do this manually right here real quick. BG right. I know this is OCD, but it makes everything look um, coherent. Doesn't really matter to me. So there you go, man. Now we've got a bit more of a cleaner session going on. I'm gonna start naming stuff. Um, I do not know what that is. That is our outro. We'll just leave that there, man, for the sake of this video. Uh, now we can delete this track. If you're going to delete tracks, make sure that you are absolutely sure that you're going to delete the tracks. If there's any audio, like for example, if I deleted this now, it would delete the audio and it's gone. So you're in trouble. So what is this? This is the bridge. And these are BGs as well. So we actually missed those out. Um, and there are two of them. I remember I'd recorded twice. So there you go. BG. Right. See, so this is pretty annoying. Um, if there is a faster way to, to do it, you know hit me up and, and tell me how um but yeah man that's pretty much it for now um we've got these samples right here so these are samples um uh so this is also a sample i think whatever it's just a reverb print or something of like a plugin with lots of um what the h2000 i guess in this instant um yeah so now what we can do is we can just go control a control a control a i like to make these a little bit smaller so boom 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 just so they look like that and pretty much got a clean session going um now we've got all of our effects we might as well put them right there as well as right there and now we've got sfx and sfx and now you can actually just you know you know exactly what's going on uh let's give these a different color like you know red or something change color red oh, why is it doing that okay and there you go man um I don't know what that is. SFX. There you go. Clean session. All right. Now we know where everything is. Now when you watch the tutorial that I'm going to shoot for this tomorrow or whenever, you know exactly what's going on. So yeah, man. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Keep grinding every single day of your life and ball out for real. So with that being said, man, smash like. Feel free to comment and ask any questions. I'm not going to answer any questions on shortcuts because you saw me working. Just check the top left corner right there. Um, You know, undo, whatever. <laughs> Peace out.